Right, so how are you anyway with the rest of the band? Are you all good on tour? Are you all having a good time? Yeah, 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 yeah. We are. It's, it's nice to be out again and, uh, and uh, actually being able to uh, travel around and play and, uh, and have a standing audience and, and all of that. So we're all really excited about about uh, the tides turning. Yeah. When uh, when did the tour actually start? And um, whereabouts was it in Europe somewhere? Well, we just uh, we started out uh, in in Norway, like uh, around the time we released uh, the new album. Yeah. Uh, and then we have done uh, quite a few like weekend gigs uh, in Norway, like uh, working our regular regular jobs uh, in the weekdays and uh, touring on the weekends. Uh, and now we're uh, we have played. We're on the uh, fifth out of uh, six shows in the UK now uh, for like a, a UK bit of the tour. It was supposed to be like all over Europe, but a lot of it got uh, uh, had to be cancelled because of uh, local res restrictions uh, with Corona and all that. Uh, but we were allowed to do the UK part, so we're really happy about that. At yeah. least we got. Uh, a bit of the uh, tour, uh, abroad touring uh, aspect back into it. Uh, yeah, so we're playing. Uh, uh, so we're playing here tonight, and then in London tomorrow, and then we're heading back to Norway to keep doing the weekend gigs. In Camden, is it Camden you play in tomorrow in London? Yeah, in 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 Underworld. Underworld. Yeah. yeah, yeah, great venue. Yeah, it's a really great venue. We've yeah. been there there once before as well, and, and that was fantastic. Yeah, uh, London is always uh, always great uh, for us. Uh, Turnips uh, uh, is usually good. And, uh, Have you yeah. been around Cardiff? Well, uh, we had a little walkabout uh, like separately uh, when we came <laughs> into time, town. <laughs> <laughs> because it's nice to just uh, walk la around and have a bit of uh, uh, relaxed time and uh, yeah. sort of just uh, drift about, you know. Because we were in town uh, about an hour before we had to load in our stuff here. So yeah, we walked around for a bit and then we and then we uh, and then we came here. So we hadn't seen a lot, but uh, seen a bit of the area. I really like this uh, street here. It yeah. seems like it has a lot of like rock places and. Uh, yeah and cool bars and stuff. We've, we've got Club Viva Bar, okay. just, just down there, that's another big venue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but a lot of the rock and metal bands come to Fuel to play. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It seemed like it, because when I was walking up the, up the road uh, earlier, I saw like a van that was just like ours, Yeah. and I saw the uh, back doors was open, so I figured, ah, they started uh, loading out already, and then go up to it, and it's like, oh, oh, sorry, because it was a whole <laughs> an uh, another band loading out for the next door venue. I, I, uh, I had a concert in there which I had to review and photograph. Okay. And uh, on the same night, yeah, they got different venues in there, mm -hmm. so I was like, oh my god, there was. One upstairs, there was a concert downstairs. I was like, oh my god, what's going on here? There's so many different fans yeah, yeah, all yeah, yeah. mixing to try and get in there. Like, it's but it's a brilliant band, it's brilliant. Yeah, it seems like it. So, with the new album, can you tell me a bit about it? Where, um, where did you record it? How long did it take? Did you have any difficulties writing and recording during COVID? Um. Well, it, we we recorded it like right at the start of uh, of uh, kind of the when the pandemic and stuff started to unfold. Yeah. So uh, it was like before they they started with the really uh, strict uh, restrictions. So so we were able to do it uh, like logistically without too many problems. Uh, we recorded it in the Caliban Studios in in Oslo. Uh, which has since moved to uh, another place a bit outside of Oslo uh, yeah. called called, uh, called Storsjön. It's a really nice studio. It's uh, it's uh, it's owned by by the drummer of a Norwegian band called uh, Tulsa Doom, uh, which is a really cool guy and really yeah. uh, like important guy in the Oslo rock scene. And uh, his studio is really great, so we recorded it there. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a good time. It took about uh, I'd say two two weeks of recording. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, they, what's your process then when you're recording? Do you go in? Do you record separately, or do you all go in and just play it, play it live and record live? Uh, we record each track se separately. Yeah. Right. Uh, 
uh, but uh, but we 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 pretty much have all of the material like planned out and written out and have like demos ready before yeah. before the studio so we can uh, reference those whenever we uh, we're wondering about what we were doing on that section and yeah. all that. So we got it all really well planned out. Uh, Jörn uh, makes like garage band uh, demos, uh, yeah. and we all practice them a lot, so, like together and separately. So to make sure we all know our material before we head in the studio. I've got to ask, what was it like supporting Metallica and Ghost? That was uh, uh, insane. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I went to the concert. Uh, you did? Yeah, I'm a massive, massive Metallica fan oh, and a cool. massive Ghost fan. Which one did you go to? Um, it was down in London. Ah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a really good one. Yeah, I, I, no, I can't remember the bloody venue now, but it, <laughs> it, it was like I say, Metallica and Ghost. Mm -hmm. So that was my first introduction yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to your band, and uh, I, I was like, oh fuck, this is good. Like this is a good. Uh, so I've been like keeping an eye out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, on like you do that sometimes, you know. It's like when uh, a support band comes along, and you think they are good. Oh, thank you. And and then you like go oh, I, I want to buy this album, and then I want to follow them. And mm -hmm. it, yeah, it was, uh, I was well impressed with uh, with it. Thank you so much. Well, yeah. I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah, definitely. It was all all. Uh, all good. What was it like? Did you get to mingle with Metallica a lot or Ghost? Well, <laughs> we, we mingled a little bit with them, but but we, we, we didn't have like access to them at all times yeah. because they have to uh, have their privacy and be able to do their thing and all that. Yeah. But they invited us to like a, a few dinners and stuff where we got to hang out and oh, just uh, uh, have, have some chat. Yeah, that was amazing. And uh, and we also hung out a lot uh, with uh, with uh, with the ghouls in in uh, in Ghost because they always had a dressing room right next to ours. Yeah. So we kind of just went back and forth. They came into ours and we went yeah. into theirs and uh, just had a well, good, what's good that? time. I I met Tobias. Yeah. Um, when they uh, did their own concert in Cardiff. Yeah. And um, it, it it was at uh, a period where. You didn't know if you had to shake hands or fist bump. <laughs> so he held his hand out as I went to do a fist bump. So then he went, oh. So he went to do a fist bump and I... And you <laughs> changed it up and you got the whole, whole this uh, yeah. situation going on. Uh, and then my mate, mm -hmm. he, he went uh, to meet uh, Tobias and he done exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that happens, man. Yeah. That happens. So, um... Go, going that, going forward, what what plans have you got? Uh, have you got any plans to come back to the UK? Uh, we always want to come back to the UK because uh, it's it's uh, especially we have uh, quite a few towns now yeah. where we really like to play, and there's always a great turn up, and people really seem to enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, so so we we are always looking to go back to to the UK. As so, many times today's as we can. a sellout, ain't it? Yes. See. So, uh, you got to come back to Wales. Yeah, you've of got course. To. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, but, um, it's going to be a good one tonight, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm not, because i got to take the photos. Oh. And yeah, I, I I'm going to be... Yeah, imagine being I, I, a photographer in, a, <laughs> in like, a packed crowd. Uh, yeah. It's got to be a, have its difficulties, I think. I, I done now... Uh, I've heard of a band while she sleeps. Yeah. I got to... I was doing their review and mm. photography, and I was throwing around the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I came out with about, must have been about 20 photos, yeah. which I could use. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting barged, I was getting thrown. Or, oh, man. But I, I, I love doing this. I'm meeting guys um, and bands like yourself, and uh, it's... Uh, it's brilliant that I can get to have a chat with you. Oh, and, uh, likewise. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll let you go in 10 minutes. So. Ah, it's, it's no problem for me if you have uh, another question. It's, it's I, I've, I've kept it short so you can uh, uh, go back um, and do what you need to do and yeah, have yeah, a yeah. break before you play. But it's been absolutely a privilege speaking to you. And Cheers, I hope 
that you get to do more concerts with the likes of Metallica and Ghost and come back to Wales, definitely. Yeah, man. So, um, yeah, we yeah. hope so too. I, I'll uh, leave it there. So, have a good gig tonight and I'll uh, see you at the front. Yeah, thank you. All right. Cheers.